Guys, what are you looking at on the table? That is the Civivi Cache, and it is absolutely gorgeous. I think it's probably one of the most attractive knives I've had on the channel. So let's turn this around and look at it from above and not waste any more time. Guys, like I said in the intro, uh, this is first day in pockets. I was trying to put this off uh, and do this later. I just could not. Uh, first day in pockets on the Civivi Cache. Um, and I am going to tell you, I think this is probably one of the most attractive knives we've had on the channel. So um, when I did the unboxing, I didn't notice, but there is a steel marking on this. This is 14C28N. And I'm 100% sure now that this is white G10 um, on this that's done in a checker pattern. And I discovered something that I wasn't expecting because of the weight of this. Steel liners, I will basically, I think it's more akin to a frame lock. It's more like a bolster lock, I guess, like a kind of a frame lock. Um, it, it's it's a in between a frame lock and a liner lock, so because it's got the scales in it. So I mean, I, I haven't looked to see how they have it listed, but holy camoly, is that good? So let's do some quick size comparisons so you can see what it looks like. We're only gonna do two. Um, so your first one's gonna be Benchmade 940, iconic knife that most of you gonna know. Um, it's just a little bit longer than a Benchmade 940, um, so you got a good size comparison, just under eight inches on this. And your final knife is. As always, the Chris Reese Sabenza Large 21. So you can see these are almost identical in length. I think this one might just be a, just a hair, just a touch longer. So let's get this out of the way and talk about how cool and how attractive this knife is. So there we go, guys. If you remember, I did the unboxing on this and I was just so excited when I saw it. And I was like, why don't I have a knife with white handles? And I'll explain that in a little bit. I have found a couple reasons. But... When I, when I opened this, I was struck by this knife overall. Really, really nicely done 14C 28 in blade that comes down super thin. Now, I will say I did have to touch this up on a ceramic rod because when it came from Jared, it's obvious he'd been testing it. But the cutting I've done so far after I hit it on that rod, it has done really, really well. Ground nice and thin, kind of a clip point style um, with a big fuller that runs the full length down into the swedge. Some people don't like that, but I absolutely find it very attractive. Really good jimping on the spine of the knife. And with that big fuller, you can reverse flick. Action on this is just shake shut home, almost drop shut. Flipper tab on it has got just about the right amount of jimping, and it's done in a really thin, like low profile flipper. And you can see that it almost disappears when you flip it open. It just kind of just sticks out just ever so slightly. You've got really good access to the lock bar on this, kind of a, a mix between a frame lock, liner lock. You know, it's really thin. you got the scales on it. But it is a very good lockup, really stable, no blade play, any direction. And you've got really good access to it. And they've scalloped that out just the right amount and then done uh, just an appropriate amount of texturing on it, not necessarily jimping. And it's just great access. Um, the handles on it, like I said, gorgeous in textured white G10, but then they've cut this cross hatch pattern in it. And I find it super attractive. Like, woo, that face right there, that woo face. Um, this thing has got a reversible pocket clip that carries really well. I have not reversed pocket clip and I have not taken this apart, but I am going to tell you it's the bearing system you would expect to see in all the Civivis. And like I said, just action is great. Now in hand, not just a good looker, this thing cuts really well, feels great in hand. I have done a little bit of cutting. I did cut some wood with this just to see how it felt in hand because I was questioning the pocket clip. I didn't have any issues really deep. I mean, it, it, when you're cutting at hard cutting on anything like a wood rod or something like that, you are going to bear down a little bit and you can feel a little bit, but it's not intrusive and it's not painful. And you absolutely have got a little post here for you to tie a lanyard on that's not making a big ugly hole. So if you like lanyards, you have an option. The blade stuck thickness on it is really good and comes down really thin, like I said. So it slid through everything I was cutting really, really well. Um, the pocket clip allows you to carry it nice and forward in the pocket. So if you're a guy that likes to carry two knives, like somebody like me that reviews knives, I find that nice. If the pocket clip is comfortable and it's deep to carry and I can get it up in the forward part of the pocket, 
even better. And the grip that you get from these scales is like you are going nowhere. Um, I tried it with wet soapy hands. Yeah, don't slide around. You've got excellent, excellent, excellent grip on this. It is not only gorgeous, it's just a good all around knife. But I have a couple little things that I found about it. So let's turn around and talk about those. So not a lot of negative, but I will say as much as the pocket clip is comfortable in hand, um, it's pretty stiff and it's on this very heavily textured G10, which means it's going to tear up pockets. Now, if you don't care about that, like a lot of people don't, I typically don't, um, you know, I wind up tearing up pockets on jeans all the time with the number of knives in and out of pocket, but sometimes that can be problematic. Um, next thing, the detent is just, just on a little bit on the soft side. Now, I could probably take this apart and retention the lock bar and give it a little bit extra, uh, oomph, but it's not that bad. But you, every once in a while, when you're flipping with the, with the fuller, it'll just not want to go all the way open. You just kind of just, it's just a little soft, but that's, it's not horrible at all. Now, I told you I would talk about the reasons why, as much as I like this, I would may I may pass on something like this if it's something. I know there's one other thing on top of this. So this gets so dirty so fast. I literally took this in the kitchen two minutes before we filmed this, and I grabbed one of my little I grabbed one of my little brushes and some soapy water and cleaned it up because uh, dirty hand it, it just gets in there. Now it does clean up easily, but it definitely gets dirty. Now I think that would be cool. You get some patina on it and you would have like your own, uh, like your own hand marks and things like that. Kind of like when you get with micarta and things like that, but it does get dirty. And if you're somebody that wants that to stay that nice off white or cream color, it's not going to stay that way if you use it. And then the finish, like it's just an aesthetic thing. The finish on this is a very, it's a big time fingerprint magnet. Um, it's a very, very fine blast. I imagine it's probably a glass bead blast and it's, it's definitely gonna fingerprint up as you carry it. Now, all those things are just minor little aesthetic things. The knife in itself is amazing and it comes in a lot of different versions. I will make sure I put a, a link to it down below. So just make sure like if you're looking for it, there, there's a lot of different versions. Don't think you're stuck with just this, uh, cream or white micarta. So. I definitely like this. This is probably going to get a lot of pocket time because not only is it just gorgeous, it's a very good cutter. It's it's done really well for the like, what, like almost six, seven hours that I've carried it today. So yeah, guys, let's turn this around, do some final thoughts and send you out about your day. There you go, guys. One of the best looking knives I've had on the channel in a very long time, if not ever. You know, I mean, there, there are some knives that really stick out that are beautifully done. But the fact is, not only is this super attractive, it's really functional. So great, great knife. Um, I, I, I'm gonna see how it carries over the next few weeks. I, like I said, just some couple minor little things as far as like pocket clip tension and, and the coarseness in and out of pocket, but I don't think it's gonna be an issue. So there you go, guys. Keep your eyes open for the next video. Uh, if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down, but please try to tell me why. I can't change the content if you don't tell me what you don't like. If you wanna support the channel, it's as simple as like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, hit the bell icon. If you hit the bell icon, make sure you got it set to all, and make sure you get notifications turned turn on your device. If you wanna support the channel, best way you can do it is go check out Coffee Brand Coffee channel sponsor. There is a link below that saves you 5%. Fresh roast coffee, roasted, well, fresh coffee roasted on demand, lots of different flavors. They also have tea and cocoa, chocolate covered espresso beans, all kinds of stuff like that. And uh, they definitely reached out and I appreciate them supporting the channel, but there's a bunch of affiliate links down below as well. So if you're purchasing stuff, I will put a purchase link for this knife down below. Any of those purchase links you use directly supports the channel. It does not cost you anything at checkout, just a little bit of extra. And if you wanna join my membership where you can get in on my Gilded server, um, baseline and premium tier members are entered into giveaways and the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series. There is a join button down below or you can go to my main page and find the join under memberships. And absolutely, I'm trying to do more stuff to support the hundred plus members that we have. So guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I will see you in the next video.